Welcome to another episode of New to Me. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and today we are taking a look at the LaCruet matte box and filter system all the way from Italy. Let's jump over to the workbench and check it out. Okay, so here we are with the LaCruet system. And right away, this is very, very flexy and plasticky. Um, it feels like uh, decent plastic, like it is heavy, but it is very flexible. Uh, the other thing is I have, it has these uh, filter trays and I can't seem to pop this off. Like I feel like I'm gonna break it if I try to pop these off. Uh, and I did get the, these are the two millimeter, these are the, the double two millimeter ones. Uh, I did get the, I think double or single four millimeter ones, but uh, it's no use since I can't really pop this off. Also, I feel like I'm gonna snap this right in half. Now, the first thing you wanna do when putting this together, you wanna put your ring in first. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna have a lot of problems putting this together. Uh, we have a 77 to 82 millimeter. That's what it comes with. They do sell additional rings, but they're like 60 bucks. So the idea is you would put your IR cut filter or your ND filter on the front here, and then you would just sort of snap it into place. And again, it just sort of snaps into place. There's no locking mechanism. And then let's go ahead and put this together. Now, one thing I think is gonna break, and I'll show you here, are these tabs. Uh, they're like these little tabby things. Those are gonna break immediately. Uh, I can tell you that that's gonna be the first thing to go. And you wanna make sure, I think, since there's no instructions, you wanna make sure the two prongs are in the front. So let's go ahead, make sure the more prongs are in the front, I'm thinking. Uh, that is kind of my thought. I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess it doesn't really matter, so just do the, the, the lesser prongs in front is what I'm guessing. Although the inside does have these kind of divots, so I'm guessing you want those on the inside. So let's go ahead with the, with the, the more prongs on the front here. And go ahead and snap this into place like so. And already this is a little bit dodgy. And let's go ahead and snap the bottom on here. Okay, so the, the lesser threads go in the front. That seems to be the way that this is working. And already this is getting really scratched up, so and I haven't even used it once, so it's very scratchy material. <laughs> yeah, let's snap that. Now the top is very interesting. The top you kind of have to snap to this extender piece here. Very interesting. And then, God, I can't believe I got scratched already. And then you pop this here. And as you can see, when I try to fold it, it's already coming off. So that's already a very, very big downside to this. And uh, there you go, that's it. And as you can see, this is not a very good matte box. It's not very thick. Uh, it might keep out some light, uh, but and again, you just pop your filters in, and there you go, there you have it, that's what it is. Um, not really thrilled with the build quality. Um, and again, you know, again, these things just pop right off. You, know, you bend this the wrong way and it pops right off. It's not really a great design, and for the money, uh, I'm not really thrilled. So let's go back to the table for my final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts on this is for 150 bucks or the 170 that I paid for shipping for getting this in Italy because I couldn't find the 77 to 82 millimeter ring either on Amazon or B&H. Uh, this is not worth it. As you can see, it's already falling apart. Pieces are constantly falling apart. It's hard to get the ring in. Uh, again, see it's just falling apart in my hands. <clears throat> and the plastic is very bendy, very cheap, scratches easy, and it's also not a very, as you can see, not a very good matte box system. It does not uh, really block out much. Uh, it is very, very cheaply made. I mean, it's good quality plastic, but at the end of the day, the frame is really, once you take the ring out, the frame is really bendy. I could definitely see, and I'll move over to the sides, you could definitely see uh, these little tab things here. I could definitely see those breaking off immediately. Um, this is just not a good system for the money. We will be checking out the tilt mat box, which I'm very excited about. Um, but this is just not worth the 170 bucks I paid for it. You can find these on B&H. I could not find the 72 to 82 millimeter, so I ordered it from the company in Italy, and this will definitely be going back. I'll be spending the money to ship this back. Um, but it is an interesting design. I like the fact you could have a filter and then multiple uh, 
four by four filters in front. That's a cool idea, but it just isn't made very well. It's just too plasticky and too chintzy, and it just kind of snaps together. And as you can see, pieces have already fallen off. I definitely can't see myself running around town with this or being on a film set and having this constantly falling apart. So that's it, but I want to know what you thought, so leave your questions and comments in the notes below if you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash the bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.